Hello everyone. Welcome to our online discussion. So today's topic which uh, we are going to discuss is all about the parajumbal question. Uh, generally parajumbal questions are um, compulsory and also mandatorily coming in the um, you can talk about in CAT exams or JAT exams or GMAT exams or other entrance exams which will um, uh, take you to the top notch institutes or top notch management institutes. Well, mm, so what is the purpose of our discussion? The purpose of today's discussion is to briefly discuss about um, parajumbal questions. Um, and for that reason, I have taken uh, one of the text here. And uh, this, uh, this text is uh, very easy and also feasible to everyone. Um, if, if anyone has you know, practiced a lot in this uh, parajumbal question, let me point out practice is something which is highly necessary when you go through the jumbled sentences question, right? So um, generally jumbled sentence or parajumbal questions come up with uh, uh, non-typo-based question. Uh, it means, uh, uh, sorry, uh, typo-based question where you have to type the answers, right? Uh, like here, you can find out uh, the blank is given here. Okay, so what we can find out here, uh, this is something a box is provided. So uh, similar to that also, you will find out in um, your actual exams, you also find out a blank uh, where you have to type the answers, right? And uh, the level of the difficulty would be what? A level of the difficulty would be called as a um, EG, moderate and uh, difficult. And uh, um, maybe the sentences uh, depend upon the kind of a sentences, depend upon the kind of a language, depend upon the kind of a subject types, right? Let's see that uh, here I have come up with one of the sample. What does the direction point out here? The direction points out that there is uh, there are four sentences which are labeled with the A, B, C, and D. When properly sequenced, would produce a coherent paragraph. Decide on the proper sequencing of the order of the sentences and key in the sequence of the four numbers as your answer. So uh, let's look into the sentences. Uh, let me tell you that uh, while you are Working on jumbled sentences, your first priority is called as a look, read each of the sentences to get a kind of a general uh, general idea out of the text, right? Because uh, these uh, jumbled sentences uh, are nothing but taken from any of the source, from any of the, any of the source means maybe the newspaper, maybe the magazine, maybe article, maybe report from any of the source. And... Uh, it may be taken from any part of the uh, text, maybe from the beginning of the text or maybe in the middle of the text or maybe at the end of the text. So, so that doesn't determine that whether uh, the jumbled sentences do have a uh, beginning sentence or a concluding sentence. So now fine, let's look into uh, this particular sentences. So, on the basis of that thought, we cannot determine that any jumbled sentences which we find in our text uh, would have introductory sentence or, or introductory um, sentence or concluding sentence, right? It may be occurred like what um, any jumbled sentences do have a, a situation, region and conclusion. So in that manner, so where you need to find out, uh, once you read it, you need to, uh, you find out that the situation is given and on the basis of the situation means the cause or region is given and on the basis of the cause or region, you also find out result or effect would be provided. Fine, uh, we'll also move for the, move for the discussion of different, different uh, strategy which help a candidate to derive the actual answer or accuracy date from the jumbled sentences. Fine. Look into the first uh, statement here. 
What is that? Indians saw Rahul Gandhi in a favorable light while viewed him unfavorably. So this particular statement is indicating about means uh, uh, Indians means what the people have a view about Rahul Gandhi. So when he uh, when they means uh, saw Rahul Gandhi in a favorable light. Right, well viewed him unfavorably. So they they do have a kind of a, a negative thought uh, about Rahul Gandhi. That is what it is given in our option A, which will be considering as a negative statement. Begin with the negative statement. Now, second, the second statement said the surveys were conducted during February to May this year. So please do remember this could be indicating as a um, a time sequence approach. Uh, so what this time sequence approach is called as a timeline, which is pointed here. Okay, so the surveys were conducted during February May this year means, uh, obviously, uh, this statement states about any of the surveys which were conducted during February or May this year. Uh, well, the third one is stated the Pew Center report is based on uh, the Pew Center report is based on a nationally representative survey of adults in India, American adults, and adults in other countries from Asia, Europe, Australia, Africa, North America, and Latin America. Now, this could be considering as a uh, any of the, uh, one of the report which is uh, given by the Pew Center, and on the basis of the survey of adults in India. So obviously when you talk about a nationally representative survey and uh, when you talk about the survey, we could find out the kind of a connection between option B and option C, right? Um, okay, so it means option C is stated about uh, means one of the nationally representative survey and option B is stated means the surveys which were conducted during February, May this year. Now look into the option D, what does it say? Mr. Modi came as the politician or emerged as the politician who commanded the highest percentage of favorable views within India. Now you could see that there is a kind of a connection with A with D. What are they? Now the first one is called as a... Uh, Rahul Gandhi, right, uh, and a kind of a negative view about him, negative view, isn't it? So, and uh, here you would find out Mr. Modi, right, so who commanded the highest percentage of favorable views, isn't it? Now, in that case, if you talk about this, uh, it is referring to the means Rahul Gandhi and Mr. Modi. Another thing also, if you observe that, means the surveys which were pointed here, the surveys on what? Means people's view on Rahul Gandhi and Mr. Modi. Isn't it? So, therefore, uh, if you see that, this, the whole parachambal sentences or question refers to nothing but a means a political survey, right? Um, and uh, the survey which is indicating the idea that who, uh, that can be called as a kind of a assumption which uh, you may think of it, um, that uh, this is referring to the, who could be the next prime minister, right? Who could be the next prime minister um, whose survey might be conducted, right? And on the basis of that, the kind of a result is given, isn't it? So let's examine how each statement in the sequence uh, connected to one another. Let's see that if I go with the statement A, right, and uh, statement B, and statement B, and statement C. So option A stated about negative view about Rahul Gandhi. Then after option B stated the surveys were conducted during February, May. And option C stated the Pew Center report is based on a 
uh, nationally representative surveys. So option C is uh, highlighting on the Pew Center report, and option D is called as an instrument. So out of these two, uh, if we observe that, that Mr. Modi emerged as the politician who commanded the highest percentage of favorable views within India. Then, if you see, it is indicating that uh, Mr. Modi became the, means, uh, you can say that this uh, statement establishes the uh, starting point by highlighting a significant finding Means obviously, this is nothing but considering as a one of the conclusion. So, um, or the significant information from the Pew Center report, right? Because option C is also stated. Pew Center report is based on a nationally representative survey of adults in India, so and so other countries from Asia, Europe, Australia, Africa, North America, and Latin America. So. Option D and option A stated about favorably and favorably. So on the basis of that, if you see, it introduces the idea that Narendra Modi, an Indian politician who has garnered what garnered the most favorable opinions within India. So, but I'm not stating that D would be the means uh, um, kind of a means actual introduction, introductory part or introductory sentence. I just take it like what? Now, if we start the idea, then how do we begin with? So, D is indicating a kind of a favorable. So, if you logically also think, uh, first you go with the positive, second you go with the negative. So, uh, and you talk about Indians, you talk about India. So, your first idea is what? Means Mr. Modi emerged as the politician uh, who commanded the highest percentage of favorable views within India. Then you can say that Indians saw Rahul Gandhi in a favorable light while viewed him unfavorably. Isn't it? So, therefore, if you talk about uh, this uh, um, option, so option D could be called as a beginning sentence. Then in option A or statement A, right, that follows statement D to provide a contrasting viewpoint, like I pointed, after introducing Modi's favorable perception, uh, it contrasts this with Rahul Gandhi's mixed perception, like some people accept him, some people do not accept him. So, this statement creates a kind of a, you know, juxtaposition. So, or called as illustrating that or describing that, while Modi was widely viewed positively, opinions, uh, viewed positively, opinions about Rahul Gandhi were divided. Now, that's what is the idea, option D and A point of. So, if you look into the option C, option C points out the Pew Center report is based on a nationally representative survey of adults in India and other countries which are pointed. So this inter introduces a contextual information. It explains that what the report's findings are derived from a comprehensive survey that includes responses from various demographics across different countries, including India and the United States, this information adds depth to the understanding of the survey, survey's scope, and also credibility. So which information? Now the information which are given above. So about Mr. Modi and Rahul Gandhi's uh, positive and negative um, view, isn't it? On the basis of that only you talk about, means option C stated about some kind of a views. Now, if you look into that of a statement B, so statement B stated the survey 
the, the surveys were conducted during February, May this year. Now, the surveys means which survey? That the survey few center means a, a nationally representative survey, right? So that survey were conducted during February, May this year. Now, in that case, we can consider C will come, uh, C and B makes a kind of a pair here, isn't it? First C will come and then after B, because C stated about what? C stated about, uh, you could say, <clears throat> the Pew Center report is based on nationally representative survey of adults in India and other countries. So, and that survey, held when uh, February to May this year. So therefore, we can consider that C would be the first and B would be the second uh, as a pair. So we could make a kind of a pair here that's called as a C and B. Or the pair could be C, B. We find out one of the pair, so which will make us uh, a kind of a help that what at least uh, out of the four, one pair we, we find out. Then we need to find out another pair. We also find out another pair by stating that D and A, right? So D stated about Modi, whereas A stated about Rahul Gandhi and D presents a positive or a favorable views, whereas A stated unfavorable views, right? So uh, that's why, or called as a kind of a mixed views, so on the basis of this particular one, we could make a kind of a thought. Uh, so statement B could be the concluding one, or it provides a temporal context, uh, context for the preceding information. It uh, clarifies the time frame during which the surveys were conducted. And this detail aligns the aligns the information with a specific period and emphasizing the recent nature of the data presented in the report. So together, so if we observe, then what do we find out? The sequence could be DACB, right? On the basis of that idea. So we could say that the sequence should be what? DACB, isn't it? DACB would be the perfect and uh, a sequence which we could make here, isn't it? So, but if you observe also, uh, means uh, uh, some students have a kind of a thought like, why not we start from the option C or option B? Uh, if you observe that uh, option C stated about means uh, the Pew Center report is based on, uh, the Pew Center report is based on a uh, uh, representative survey of adults in India and other countries. And we said the surveys were conducted during February, May this year, right? Now, in that case, which surveys you were talking about? So, and what, sur uh, what survey you pointed here? So, you are talking about the Pew Center report on the basis of a national representative survey. Now, what is that survey? The survey is nothing but means views of two different politicians in India. So that's called as a Rahul Gandhi and Mr. Modi. Now, why not we begin with option A that stated about Indians saw Rahul Gandhi in a favorable light while well, viewed him unfavorably. So uh, in option A, it is stated about Indians and Option G stated about means a kind of a general opinion about Mr. Modi, who became uh, considered as the politician and the highest percentage of favorable views within India. So, um, and uh, it doesn't talk about the Indians. It talks about the India. And um, then after, it indicates to the option A, where Indians have a different viewpoint on Rahul Gandhi. So option D and option A making a kind of a contrast be, and the contrast begin from where? Means giving the idea about Mr. Modi, right? With a positive viewpoint and uh, that has to be, that has contrasted with the, means option A, 
where Rahul Gandhi means I have a mixed view or means unfavorable views, right? So therefore, we consider option D and D, A would be a means one of the pair. So, and this survey can be found in a the Pew Center report. And uh, when did this survey occur? Now on February to May this year. So on the basis of that, we need to the answer that would be called as a DACB, isn't it? So I hope you understood this. Thank you.